here what's going on everybody it's your boy ipod king card here i want to welcome you guys to a new video i've been getting so many tweets and instagram dms about this topic that i felt like i had to make a video because i know that a lot of us are still grinding badges if you don't have any grinding service or anything like that and you're just like me and you want to sit there and work for your badges and say that you did it yourself i got the easiest thing that's going to help you out go to the practice facility for your team and the reason that i say that is you guys are literally letting almost 3,000 points just drift away every time that you go to grind your badges or whatever the case may be inside of a game whether you're playing on pro whether you're playing on hall of fame you are literally not utilizing the easiest thing inside the game which is the practice team facility so check it out let me grab my controller real fast man what I want to show you guys is what I do when it's time for me to grind for my badges. So, of course, there are a lot of people that are 98 overalls, 99 overalls, but we know why. Some people have grinded on their own, but some have done some things they shouldn't have did. And I'm not knocking that, but I don't want to do that because I don't want to get banned in the future. So check this out. When I come to work on skills, I actually do each skill now if i want to focus on one like say for instance my next defending badge is close i'll use all four of my workouts in this team facility on just defending now what i want to actually do is i want to show you guys my progression real fast so you kind of can get an understanding of what i got so far so check this out right as far as badges go my next upgrade for defensive is close my next one for shooting is almost about halfway my next one for playmaking isn't anywhere close to finishing so of course i wouldn't use playmaking or shooting my finishing badges are already maxed out you guys have seen my rep method videos for that that's why i haven't finished now as far as defense goes my rep method for defense is just to come in here and pray to goodness that i do my drills the right way and pay attention to the actual drill and i go into games sometimes on pro and try to get a bunch of steals before fouling out and i try to get some uh blocks and some bumps and stuff like that some force pickups you know just just small defensive stuff but basically let me show you guys this now i'm not going to use the defensive all of them for this one i'm actually going to show you guys what i would use if i was using finishing if i was using shooting if i was using playmaking if i was using defending and rebounding so let's start off with defense you want to use pick reaction all of these other defensive uh schemes and and workouts are okay but most of them are god awful like take charge for instance i used to do charge every single time but then somebody told me about pick reaction and i've been using pick reaction every time let's hop into it this is why i want to show you guys so come over talk to mike wang real quick this is the only time that i get to yell at mike wang like this is the only one where i can say man you know what i can't take it no more but you know what we're not going to do that today so basically you just run over here to the spot now of course i didn't get a score there because i wasn't moving already see me moving before the screen even comes is optimal you know what i'm saying i get to move wherever i need to go and i have no trouble doing that so this is the defensive play that you want to pick see that easy easy peasy not getting caught on any screens already where i need to be now this one is the hardest you got to kind of loop around the defense when the when the ball actually is on that spot but if it's right here or over here super duper easy man like you literally don't have to work for it look three stars already and i still got three to go so i don't have to do any of these because i got my three stars already which means i got my 700 points to defending now just imagine go into a game five minute quarters pro all-star superstar hall of fame and i want you to write down how many defensive points you get per game if you're not a defensive build if you're a defensive build or a rebounding build we shouldn't be having this conversation but if you aren't this is the conversation we need to have 700 points just like that without without question now check this out let's go into let's go into playmaking right so playmaking a lot of these are really really good alley -oop passing is pretty okay but it only gives you 650 but look what one man gives you one man gives you 750 points now it says it's hard it says it's hard but it's not really that hard and i'm gonna tell you why let's go ahead and hop into one man real fast and i'm gonna show you how to get 750 easy points just like that all right now you have to grab the rebound give it to a defender 
convert on a three on two fast break an assist is one point a block is two points a turn i'm sorry a basket is two points and a turnover is minus two so try not to get two turnovers because i'm telling you now you're gonna be pissed off now what i do is i hit l1 r1 i call for it when i get back to half court set my feet and i pull simple you know what i'm saying two points off the rip now i'm gonna show you how many points it takes to get three stars like i said come up as soon as i get the ball i pull it now listen i ain't gonna tell you about my new jump shot y'all not ready for my new jump shot yet but check it out i already got two stars r1 l1 Kawhi has the ball i call for it and i pull i'm t look i got seven remaining tries i got seven remaining tries guys i'm telling y'all it's, it's like that now of course don't want to get a turnover so this is what i do i run away I go ahead and hit the get out on him. You know what I'm saying? As soon as the rebound go up, I'm going. I'm ghost. Because I got my three stars already. And this is the easiest way to stop this from continuing to keep throwing the ball down court, praying to God you don't get a turnover and stuff like that. Just run away from the rebound. As soon as Mike Wayne throws it up, get ghost on him. Tell him, hey, Mike, sorry. I'm trying to get my badges. I know how you are about badges. You know what I'm saying? I need, need a couple badges toned and fixed. So, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. But we ain't going to say nothing about Mike Wayne. We going to chill. So, 750 points, easy to playmaking. 750 points, easy. Now, if you're not a playmaker, if you're a big or a power forward or a small forward that doesn't pass the ball and stuff like that, doesn't throw alley-oops, this is simple. 750 points every go-round. If you only got like a max of five or six playmaking badges, go ahead and come to the practice facility, man. Work on your badges. And let's talk about shooting for a moment shooting is super duper easy this year i know a lot of people are having problems with full bars i'm sorry mike wang hopefully he fixes it but if you want to do contested long range shoot yourself in the foot contested mid range shoot yourself in the foot now what you want to do is you can work on your game from three deep if you're a pure sharp or a playmaking sharp with high enough three pointers i can hit these with no problem but i'm telling you right now that free throw golf is everything 750 points for just shooting free throws everybody knows this method if you're a shooter but for you non-shooters out there that have a pretty okay mid-range and can't shoot a three to save your life this is where you come you come and shoot free throws you know what i'm saying you get some swishes in you know what i'm saying once you get to about i think 16 is the score you can go ahead and just start throwing them up however you want now of course me I can get to 16 with no problem. Sometimes I just be so mad at doing this drill that I really don't want to do it. Sometimes I just don't even feel like doing it, but I have to do it here because I have to show you guys. Literally, like I am using the controller, but uh, we're in again, all right? Now I'm at 11, I still have five tries. For every swish, it's three, all right? And every make, it's two. So hopefully I can swish this one and be done. Nope, couldn't swish it, but I hit it. And I still got three more tries. One thing about the free throw golf though, if you do miss it and you start coming down to like see your remaining two and you get scared, you ain't gonna make it. Just like I did right there. You know what I'm saying? But I got my uh 16, I'm done. You know what I'm saying? You see my, my player screaming and all that. I ain't worried about all that. But what I am worried about is 750 shooting points. Easy work easy work if you only want your shooting badges and you want to go to the park the rack 3v3 pro am any up and you just want all your shooting badges come do this drill four times after every game i'm telling you you're not gonna be pissed off it's gonna breeze right through real quick just about the length of this type of video now for finishing i have all of my finishing badges right but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna show you guys the finishing method that i used to get my finishing badges up faster beyond the game all right so what i did was i did lot finishes now don't get me wrong it's only 650 points but i'm nowhere near a slasher i can't do contact finishing i can't do post moves up and unders because it's, why do that it's only worth 650 as well pick and roll i'm not doing that it's only worth 650 fatigue finish not doing that put back finish not doing that floater not do, definitely not doing floater Con contested finishes not doing that relentless finishes not doing that now some people will say that fatigue finishes is pretty good you just got to run around a whole bunch get the ball finished stuff like that i ain't doing all that i ain't got time to be running all around all right i ain't got to be time to grab my rebound running back to the spot running back to no 
So live finishes, super duper easy. You know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and uh, start this one up. Let's get everyone over here and get started. All right, all right, Mike. Do. All right, let's do it, Mike. All right, so you know what I'm saying Kawhi, and then I just hold square. Yeah, oop, and I missed that one. So what I do is I start tethering. If I realize I'm too far up, I tether. You know what I'm saying? You don't gotta run full speed at the rim. You can literally jog like how he's jogging, and he'll just throw it to you. You know what I'm saying? Just make sure that you got square held. You know what I'm saying? Big tether, and I missed that one. You know what I'm saying? But check it. As soon as I believe you get like six, you're done. Oh man, see he's selling me now. You know what I'm saying? So now I gotta come from a better angle. And I didn't press square. GG's. Why he selling me like this, man? I only need four. Or I think is it five. Alright, that's four. And somebody's at my front door. That is weird. Okay. Alright, I'm running a little bit behind. But I got one more try. I got one more try to get five. And we got five. Three stars. Woo, by the skin of our teeth but that right there is how i get well got a couple finishing badge points 650 isn't bad when you don't finish at all when all you do is shoot you can come here relax and get a couple badges off now uh the team practice has ended and it's time for me to get up out of here on that green i want to thank everybody for watching if i didn't say it in the beginning of this video i hope you guys can get this video to 3,000 likes I appreciate all the support i'm gonna keep making these videos for you guys and if you have any questions about any of my rep methods please let me know hit me up on twitter or instagram you know what i'm saying just let me know but um i'm out of here man thank you guys so much for watching peace yeah you can't watch this whole video without subscribing